Today, we are going to be time-lapsing a movie that I've never seen before. I'm going to watch it, see if I can understand the plot, and you can tell me in the comments if I'm right or wrong. Hello everybody and welcome to YouTube. My name is John Warder. Yeah, I know, it's it's been a while and since you've seen me here sitting in my little office. I've had a lot of people ask me like, what do I even do? Dude, I'm figuring that out, man. Aren't we all? You know, life has been very busy. I've been honestly busy with freelance and donating dare. y'all saw my most recent video, Jazz Enough, one of my favorite music artists. That was a true passion project and I want to make more videos like that, but those take a lot of time. That's what today's video is all about. I came up with this idea just out of necessity to maximize my time. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm excited to experiment. So why do I feel compelled to even bother making a video like this? I mean, who cares really? What even is a time lapse? That's something that I don't even know. Two reasons. Number one, I think it's always important to experiment and create, and that's what YouTube is all about. And number two, I might be a genius. I mean, if this works, I'm gonna get to see a lot more movies now. Without sound, but... Okay, so now let's search Netflix. Let's see, let's, let's do like some dramas. As a filmmaker and someone that studied film, so often I got called out for movies that I've never seen. People have been like, what, you're a filmmaker and you've never seen that? You know what, yeah I haven't because there's a lot of movies out there and I don't have all the time in the world. And that's the tea. I really need a teacup. You know, Bird Box, I never saw this movie and everybody was talking about it. I've heard it's one of those movies that's like, it's good, but really you don't have to see it. So this sounds like the perfect candidate for my first time lapse. All right, so I've got the camera set up. Looks like we've got a good frame here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Let's get this guy out of here. Um, please leave, leave the room. Right now it's saying it's gonna take 36 minutes to do 730 shots, so we need probably around 2,000. It's gonna take two hours and six minutes to get all those shots. Playback time is gonna be one minute and 24 seconds. Honestly, I might be a genius. I'm about to watch a movie, a two hour movie, in one minute and 24 seconds. I've got great ideas. It's doing its job every three seconds. One, two, three, take a photo, y'all. And that's how you do it. All right, we'll be back in two hours. Okay, here we are. We've got some dramatic lighting going on because it's time for a time-lapse movie. Mm. By the way, garlic salt on the popcorn, that's the move. I gotta really pay attention. I feel like I can't blink. All right. She went to the hospital, maybe she gave birth. There was a car accident. Um, some crazy stuff going on. That dude from Get Out in the movie. Man, this is very quick. Okay, they're in the boat. They've got the blindfolds on. They are just walking around and they're in a the store. Man. John Malkovich is in this movie. They're back in the boat. Uh, maybe there's a flashback going on. She had a gun. Uh, there's a man crying. Mm, okay, John Malkovich seems to be going a little crazy. The kids are underneath a blanket. Um, there's some therapy going on. It looks like maybe some flashbacks happening. There's blood, gunshot. Oh! She hooked up with that guy. I think we're getting a lot of flashbacks. Kids are back underneath the blanket. They're in a ra raging rapid. They're walking through the forest. Okay. Um, they, it looks like they they found... Okay, cool. So, yeah, I, I think I understand what happened in this movie. Um, so here's what I got. Um, Sandra Bullock's in the movie. 
That was very hard to watch. I might be a genius. Would I watch it again? I mean, sure, why not? I've got the time to budget for that. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a few guesses as to what I think this film is about. Sandra Bullock, she's got two kids. She was pregnant at one point, and I think that baby did not make it because she was in a car accident. What caused that car accident? I don't know. But what I know that happened after that is that she started hanging out with John Malkovich, and whenever that happens, Things get weird, and I think that there's a monster. I think the end of times is going on, but they seem to be safe inside, which is why they had all their blindfolds off. So whatever this monster is that's causing this apocalypse, it exists outside. Okay, so that's cool. They apparently can't look at it in the eye, kind of like a Medusa. I'm gonna guess it's a big giant bird. At some point though, I did see Sandra Bullock in a boat with her two children. And I guess they chose the river because that's the quickest way out. You know, you can't really drive blind. That's not very smart, but at least a river will help guide you where you need to go. Their boat crashed. Something has to go wrong with the boat, right? But miraculously, all of them survived. Those kids are tough. And they ended up in the woods and they started walking around. And at some point she found a door, she knocked on the door. And what do you know? They found Narnia. That's the movie, that's Bird Box. So I don't know what the significance of the birds are because we saw a lot of birds. I'm sure there's like some sort of irony here with why uh, this movie's called Bird Box. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a, throw a swing out there. Just like birds are in a cage, these people in a way are in a cage. They're safe whenever they're inside, you know, inside their home or inside of that grocery store. But it's when they're outside whenever things get a little freaky and scary. And so I think in a way, Sandra Bullock is the bird, and whatever the monster is out there is the human. So it's a little, it's a little layered. It's kind of like an onion. You gotta chop it up to get to the center of it all. Man, this was, this was fun. Yeah, this was fun. Was this enjoyable? I mean, I had fun thinking of the idea, and I enjoyed eating this popcorn. If you like this, what else should I watch? I'm honestly trying to find ways to make videos more often. This could clearly be one of those options. Yeah, and subscribe. But also you don't have to do that. I need to stop eating this popcorn. Beth Ann Smith. My kids and I love making friendship bracelets together. Well, that is fantastic. Perfect fit. Thought you could use some fan art. Thank you very much, Mariah. And finally, I'm including my latest book. Proof that with determination and passion, you can make anything happen. I appreciate this. Thank you so much. Yeah.